Hey there, welcome to a brand new Let's Talk show here in the Road Beast Place. So, before to start or to do anything, I just want to tell you that this video is up to 60 frames per second and make sure to watch it at its best performance. So, all what you need to do is to go to the settings and then the quality, then advanced, then you're gonna see 60 frames per second up to 2K. Without being said, enjoy the video and let's get started. So for today's presentation, as you have read the title, we are going to compare these two boosters. Uh, obviously this one from the Total uh, Booster Takeover and this one is the from the Booster Pack. Yep. And um, both of the reviews or moreover the unboxings, our links are going to be on the description as well as on the comment section so that you won't miss anything. With that being said, enjoy the video and let's see what each, what each one's hold. Yeah. Let's start with the booster pack. First of all, if you haven't watched the review yet, I'll make a link in the description as well as on the comment section so you can go ahead and uh, see the unboxing. But without further ado, let's talk a little bit about how it is. Now, so far, this is one of my favorites. Actually, it's my favorite. And this is the normal Hot Wheels standard booster, which means uh, this is the normal booster. And uh, the good thing about it is that you have two parking spots for two cars, of course. And also you can connect it with other Hot Wheels sets. Which means you can use two to four pieces of tracks and you can like uh, keep up your track while binging, building it on the top of the batteries or moreover where you put, where you put the batteries. Yeah, I don't want to mention or I don't want to forget about the mega blocks, uh, the four cubes over there. These are dedicated to the mega blocks. For the total turbo takeover, I obviously like the idea of merging two boosters into one. Now, what I like about this, and you are probably familiar with since we, uh, we already made an HW track ride, well, uh, you can either use the booster for race, which means you can, uh, with a button, you can program the booster to go at the same, t at the same way. Uh, for both boosters or the opposite way, which means there is a booster is going to boost forth and the other one is going to boost backward if you see what I mean anyways this is what I like so there's a lot of things to talk about this booster but the only issue is that I'm still experimenting okay so I might need to make another less talk show about uh, this type of booster First of all, since it's boosted from the sides, which means the, and the, the things that spins are actually made from rubber, well, it may affect the color of your cars. And um, I had this dilemma with uh, the Chevrolet NASCAR. Um, at the end of the recording, well, I found out that some of the Hot Wheels logo, actually, I need to wait to show you this. Well, as you can see over here, you see the Hot Wheels logo. It's a little bit ripped off. And this is what happens because of the booster. And uh, this is just a tiny detail, but if you, if I was uh, going to use it, you know, a lot, especially on the future HW truck rides or videos, well, by the time it's gonna start uh, ripping off, the side of the cars and at the end you'll end up with the a NASCAR car that doesn't seem like a NASCAR car <laughs> anyways but you know in my opinion you've got kicker loops you got what else uh, accessories you got these so it makes I mean it does its jobs you know uh, well this is it if you're new to the Road Beast Place, make sure to subscribe so that you won't miss anything. Otherwise, um, see you and also leave a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this content so that we'll private it more. Provide more, yeah.
Take care.